Hi, what's up, y'all? I was cracking this video. Watch reaction to this video by Young Donna Sauce Guy. This is YouTube Rewind, but blacker. See, I, I knew I fucked with him. I, that's what I'm talking about. I knew I fucked with Young Donna Sauce Guy. So he about to take us through uh, YouTube for 2019. Um, but, you know, it's going to be black or whatever. Because, you know, YouTube Rewind, I'm pretty sure it's not black at all. But anywho, let's see uh, these black moments in 2019. Let's watch. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Merry Christmas, y'all. By the way, and happy New Year. Now I don't know about you, but Christmas is by far my favorite time of the year. Christmas for me has always mm. meant good food, family, and presents. And because my parents were divorced, I had Christmas twice yeah. a year. And they tried to tell me there were no pros to growing up in a broken home. So <laughs> what is the Christmas story I'm gonna tell you guys today? Well, unfortunately, I had a Christmas story planned, but my mom hold me because she told me I can't tell it. Which, you know, I don't typically ask anybody for permission to do anything anymore. But this story in particular is a little different in the sense that it affected a lot of other people other mm. than me. So for now, I can't tell it, but I promise you one day I will. When does my little brother turn 18? Six years. Six years. I'll tell you in six years. So instead, I decided that how about we take a look back together at 2019 at some of the more noteworthy things that happened this year that stood out to me. Soldier. 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 By far the greatest thing that happened in January was fucking Soldier Boy, man. I'm the first rapper to come out with a video this game interview console. interview was hilarious. Tiger ain't got no fucking video game console. Drake? Who can forget that, man? Oh my god, bless his soul. February. February was the month I became aware of the whole PewDiePie versus TC. And although I'm not the Ooh. biggest PewDiePie fan, you know, I enjoyed meme review while it lasted. As a YouTuber, I just enjoyed watching the internet come together to support this guy. Every year, YouTube feels like it's less of a place for creators and more of a place for huge companies mm. like TC. And it just showed me, yo, as a community, YouTubers and YouTube consumers alike aren't gonna take this shit lying down. Also, congrats to PewDiePie for hitting 100 million subscribers, an achievement that I am much too sane and black to ever aspire to achieve it. March. Unfortunately, in March, we lost Nipsey Hussle. Damn, this that was, was in March? news for me. I and I'm not gonna happened. cap and pretend I was the biggest Nipsey Hussle fan, that but, you know, after he died, I really dove in and, and researched about this guy and he was just an amazing guy he did big things for the black community and made great music racks in the middle is definitely one of my favorite songs from this year april i got the horses in the back horse tack is attacked May. Lyrical Lemonade uploaded Ransom by Lil Tecca and it instantly became one of my favorite songs to this day Lil Tecca must be protected at all costs. June. Now, I'm sure a lot of interesting things happened in June, but the thing that mattered the most to me, I finally got to collab with my boy Swoozy, who's a guy who pretty Aww. much does what I do, only he's been doing it for 10 years. He opened a lot of doors for guys like me to come through, and because of that video, I ended up writing the song Can't Stop, which today has 700,000 plays on Spotify alone. Something that I cannot be more grateful to you guys for, and I cannot wait to release more music. It says J9K got music. As far as what news, Hip hop and YouTube goes nothing really. Oh, those songs he released, he got that on Spotify. But we did get a new Spider Man, and Quentin Tarantino, Brad Pitt, and Leonardo DiCaprio teamed up together to drop Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which was one of my favorite movies of the year. August. Oh, Dave Chappelle so drops Sticks and Stone. Now, anyone who knows me well knows that I'm a huge stand up comedy fan, and Dave Chappelle is by far one of my favorite comedians. He dropped a new special called Sticks and Stones, and it was a much needed, very refreshing middle finger to PC culture, which is at an all-time high in 2019. Mm. To be fair to us, I also believe if you decide to have the baby, a man should not have to pay. I'm right. That's fair. If you can kill this motherfucker, I can at least abandon him. September. In the courtroom, telling homie I'm a felon, homie in the neck, calling me a rat. I'm still telling. Takashi Six Nine went full snitch gang on the whole game, bro. Man's was like Trey, who? Trey, what? Trey, where? Trey, get me the fuck out of prison, nigga. October. The king has returned. In October, we got to see LeBron James remind the world 
who the fuck this nigga was. I've always been a super huge LeBron James fan, and it just warms my heart to see him doing well because I want him to get more rings, man. I'm trying to see my man with five rings at least by the end of his career. November. In the month of November, the entire internet stood still to watch KSI and Logan Paul right. abandon months of training to swing widely at each other in their much anticipated rematch in a boxing ring. That said, congratulations to KSI, man. Made a lot of people very proud, including myself. I hope you continue to see success and continue to win at whatever it is you choose to do, whether it be music, YouTube, boxing, whatever it is that you want to do. Something tells me you're gonna pull that shit off. Which brings me to December. Without a doubt, the thing that has stood out most to me so far this month is the passing of Bruce Wayne, who surely yeah. will be remembered as one of the greatest rappers of our generation. May he rest in peace and live on forever through his music. And that With all due respect, R.I.P. to Juice World, but I don't, you know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna let shit go. Some things don't need to be said, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Anyway, um, yeah, YouTube rewind, but Blacker, I appreciated this list. He did a nice little rewind, though. This was a nice little rewind. I still haven't watched YouTube rewind. I never do. It's always just super corny. I watched it one year, and the Paul Brothers was on it, and it was just pure disgust on my face in that video. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember doing that some years ago and people were just talking about how disgusted I looked watching it and I was just like, you know what? I'm just never gonna do this to myself again. So don't even know what YouTube Rewind is looking like this year. But anyway, a uh, cool little video from Young Down the Sauce Guy. Let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!